present simple and past simple. Everything we really need is on the board to learn the basics of present simple and past simple, positive, negative, third person. Let's go through it together very slowly. So in the present simple, we say, we use one of these subjects, I, you, or we, or they, and we say, look, I write an email every day. When we talk in the present simple, we talk about information. The sky is blue. You know, this chair is comfortable. And we talk about habits, things we do every day, once a week, once a month, things like that. And we use the same language for I, you, we, and they. I write an email every day. So after the subject comes a verb. Okay, here's the verb. And then the rest of the sentence. Now, when we write this in the third person using he, she, it, we need to make a change. But it's just a very small change. We just have to add this sound s to the end. Sometimes it's just a, the letter S, sometimes it's ES, and sometimes it's IES. But it's basically the sound s. Or so he writes an email every day or she writes an email every day it's all about talking about somebody else he or she or it okay so we just have to remember this little s at the end or the s sound okay now when we transfer present simple to negative we have to do a couple of things once again, we, we stick to I, you, we, they, or he, she, it. Um, now for I, you, we, they, we add this little verb, the little verb do in the negative form. So here we say, I do not write an email every day, or I don't write an email every day. The other thing we do is we make sure that this verb stays present simple first person. As soon as we use this little auxiliary verb, the main verb always stays, it's called infinitive, but it's basically present simple first person, are you, we, they. And that makes a lot of sense when you come to he, she, it in the negative. Because he, she, it in the positive, we put this little s at the end here, but in the negative, it's the auxiliary verb do that changes. He does not. And then we need to make sure that the main verb stays in the infinitive form. Just like here. So we have to be careful. In the present simple, we use the S. But in the present simple negative, so the positive we use an S, but in the negative, we use this word, does not, and the main verb has to stay the same as if it was infinitive, first person. So we need to remember a couple of things. Now, the past is easier and more difficult. Well, it's easier because there's only one verb. You don't need to remember about positive, are you, we, they, he, she, it changes. We just have to learn one verb for I, you, he, she, it, we, or they. But the, the difficult thing is you have to learn the verb. And some verbs are normal, regular verbs where you just say, um, um, I work, he worked, you just add ed. But a lot of verbs, there are about 150, I think, of them. They're called irregular verbs, where you've got to learn something very different about the verb. Here, in the present, it's I write, or he writes. In the past, it's wrote, for I, you, he, she, it, we, and they. So we have to learn this other verb. And that's where essential grammar in use is very important. Page 245, a list of all the irregular verbs for the beginner, elementary, and pre-intermediate level. In the negative, there's something else to remember. We need to use the
the auxiliary verb do again, but this time in the past. Did or did not. So negative is I didn't. But then the main verb stays present again. Because as soon as you use this verb, doesn't matter how you use it, the main verb is always present simple first person, always infinitive. So in the negative, and later when we learn the question again, we just have to remember the auxiliary verb in negatives and questions, with the main verb always being present simple first person. Okay? So a lot to take in there.